Grazie. Thank you very much. On behalf of the ECR group, Mrs. Yanakodakis, two minutes. In December 2011, I supported legislation which helped safeguard victims of stalking, harassment and domestic violence. The European Protection Order allowed victims of violence who had gained restraining orders in the UK or other countries to make these orders portable around the EU. I hope the EPO will be a great success and will complement the victims' package, victims' right package. One of the reasons for its success is that it is based on a system of mutual recognition and only deals with contraventions of member states' own criminal law. Whilst I fully support the rights of citizens, especially women, to have the same level of protection that they enjoy in their home country, I have concerns with the new proposals which introduce similar measures for civil, war, civil law. We need pr to protect our citizens who are victims of crime, and that is why I can only support the European Protection Order which deals with criminal offences. Criminal offences are clear. They are a violation of the law of the Member State Statute Book. Introducing civil law measures are more pragmatic, problematic. And we must remember that at least in the case of the United Kingdom, our system of common law is distinct from civil law in the rest of Europe. Consequently, I am concerned that, that extending the EPO to cover civil matters would lead to confusion. This confusion might lead to less protection. Furthermore, in spite of my object, uh, uh, objections to this proposal, I cannot accept the principle of the EU jurisdiction over civil law. I shall therefore be abstaining from the vote later today. Thank you very much. The next speaker, on behalf of the S&D group, no, I apologise. On behalf of the Liberal Group, Mrs Wickstrom, two minutes.